All right then my friends, so I said in the last video that this currently has a security issue which is gonna make this site vulnerable. So I wanna talk about that in this video. Now, you may or may not have heard of something called cross-site scripting attacks, or for short, XSS. Now it's a way that website users, or should I say morons, can potentially inject malicious and harmful code into your website. And that can occur anywhere a website gets data from an end user, such as this form right here. All a user has to do is enter some JavaScript code into one of these form fields, and then that JavaScript code is gonna get sent to the server, and when it comes back to the browser, that code, it can execute, okay? So, for example, I could add in some JavaScript right here. All I'm doing is a script tag, then I'm saying window.location equals this website, and then closing the script tag. So what I'm doing here is injecting this little bit of JavaScript, I'm submitting it to the server. When it gets to the server, we're gonna echo that JavaScript now in the browser when we send it back. Okay, so that's potentially dangerous because what's gonna happen is that JavaScript, when we get back to the browser, is gonna run and it's gonna redirect me to the netninja.co.uk. Now, I suppose that's a good thing because the netninja.co.uk is an awesome website. But this could be a malicious website where it's going to force you to download some kind of virus. So this is a bad thing. Now, if I submit on Chrome, fortunately, Chrome have had the nous to detect this kind of behavior. And we get an error, so it won't let me do that, which is good. That's nice. But if we were to use something like Firefox, I'm going to do exactly the same thing here. And I'm going to submit. And notice when I submit, now it's redirecting to the NetNinja website, okay? So how are we gonna prevent this kind of script from firing? How can we prevent this if a user enters in some kind of malicious code? Well, we're gonna use a function in PHP called HTML special chars, short for characters. So let's go over to our code. And what we need to do before we echo anything out to the browser or before we render any kind of data out to the browser that we've got from a user, we should always use HTML special chars. So we surround our data that we're outputting with that function, okay? So we'll say HTML special chars and in brackets, the email. And we'll do exactly the same thing down here, HTML special chars and surround the title and then we'll do exactly the same thing down here, HTML special chars, and then surround the ingredients. So what this does is take the data that we've input, in our case, it could be that JavaScript, but it could be something that's not malicious, just a sentence, and it looks at that data, that string of characters that we've input, and it turns any certain special HTML characters like angle brackets and quotes into HTML entities. Now, HTML entities are like safe string version codes for special characters, okay? So that's gonna make them safe. So even though we're gonna submit some kind of script, when it gets to the server, we're gonna use this function on that data that we've submit, and when it sees those angle brackets and stuff like that, it's gonna convert those into HTML entities so that when they get to the browser, they're gonna be rendered as HTML entities rather than the actual character like um, the angle bracket okay so it's not going to work then so if we save this now i'm going to go back to firefox and try to submit this again so i'm going to submit and this time we don't get that redirect instead we just see it up here okay so it looks the same we still see the angle brackets but these are actually rendered as html entities so they're not harmful they don't actually execute as JavaScript, okay? So that's how we can protect ourselves from cross-site scripting.